What's up guys, John Mac here. Today we're going to be doing a video on um how to make a uh, Microsoft logo mock-off in Photoshop CC 2015. The first thing you want to do is open up a new um page. It can any size is fine. Um but I'm just gonna use the default Photoshop size, which is seven by five inches. You don't have to do this, but it's recommended that you name the um, file Windows Logo Mockoff. Great, the ice cream truck. Shut up! We don't want ice cream. We got some. Okay, anyway, um, after you've named it Windows Logo Mockoff, you want to go to your shape tool and make sure you select rectangle tool. <laughs> now this is to make a modern Microsoft logo, not the old one. Now you take it and set it to fill for each different color that the Windows logo has. First you do red. Move this, uh, move this other rectangle. And then you edit it, if you can. And now you make a custom color. Um, which I think the best color to do is that. No, not that. Control that. Cut that. Uh, now you move this over here. Now this is an easy tutorial. You don't need much um skill with Photoshop to make this mock-off logo. Now, one thing I will tell you is that the Microsoft logo has a certain font. I don't think I have that font, so I'm just going to do Calibri for the Microsoft font. Control, cut that. How the heck do you cut that? Is this the one? Which one is the line? Uh, I need to figure out how the heck do I cut this? Which stinking layer is it? How do I preview this layer? I'm not, I don't have much skill with Photoshop either. I don't see red anywhere, but I'm assuming this is the one. You cut this. You can't cut it? Okay, try. Okay, forget that. Uh, it's a mess up, and you don't really need to know. You don't really need um, to cut that out unless you absolutely want to. I just made a mistake. Again, I'm not a uh, Photoshop professional, so. Don't depend on me for that much. This is only a 30 day trial. I'm not getting the full version because I'm not paying for this. And then I make another rectangle. If it asks you to create a second rectangle, say yes and then change the color. How many are yellow? I don't know. Now you change the color of this. After that, you've got yourself a perfect Microsoft logo, but it needs a final touch. Go into your color picker. Go into the text tool, which is usually ro located in the third segment 
of tools that you've got. <laughs> and then you uh, click on it. Then select whatever font you want to make the Microsoft thing out of. In this case, it's going to be Calibri. And go into your color picker and make your color gray. Um, and my computer's a bit broken, and for some reason, it, whenever I make it like a bit of a big font, it makes it really tiny. So I gotta do this. And then you just type Microsoft. Now, this is, after that, there's only one last touch. You center it, and you go back to your shapes. Right click on the shape button and click custom shape tool. And when and go into the shape, which is located one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen buttons down. Um, just to say. You don't have to count, but you should. Actually, wait. I gotta edit this text, I think. No, forget it. Now, under there, there should be like an R, like a copyright symbol. Make one of those. And if you have it set to fill with a certain color that's not gray, make it gray. And there's all these little buttons that make it seem pixelated. It's not. Now, cancel. Uh, if it asks you to create another a custom shape a after you click um, on the background around it, um, for the uh, copyright symbol, just click cancel. Because you don't want to make a. Because if you click OK for that, it'll make a second one, and we wouldn't want that. I don't even know how to get rid of this red thing in the middle of my four square. Now, the thing used to be flags. I don't know how to make the old Microsoft logo. But this is the best I can do to make a mock-off of the new one. So, uh... Okay, guys. So, that's John, this is John Mack signing, signing off. Stay tuned for more photoshop and other videos and i'll see you later thanks for watching